Let's take a look at the stock market here. These are the S&P 500 futures. We're looking at the weekly chart. You can see that this week has already gotten above the 4208 resistance we've been talking about forever and a day. Look at that one, really almost one, two, three, four, five, six out of the last seven weeks have been just bumping up against this 4208. Now we're above it. And uh, even though you see this big red candlestick, I don't think we're gonna get back below this um, and stay below it anyway, uh, anytime soon. Okay, even though today's a red day and the week is red for the first day of the week here on Monday, I just don't think we're gonna see a big decline. We might see some little bit of pullback throughout this process, you know, as we head towards, you know, on the weekly chart, which, you know, the middle of that is way out in July, I think. Yeah, July 3rd, so. But between now and then, I think overall we'll probably, you know, for the most part, uh, stay above this 4208. There may be some dip in below it and then back above it and stuff like that. But for the most part, we're gonna be, I think price is gonna be up in this area, okay? Let's look at the daily chart. And the daily drawing set here. So there's that 4208. You can see 4327's way up there. So pretty pretty big red day. Not surprising after such a huge green day on uh, last Friday. And we had Memorial Day weekend. So, you know, obviously this is Tuesday here. Sunday mixed in. This is all futures. And, you know, futures closed for maybe like five hours, whatever it was. Um, but I do think we're going to stay up in this area especially the further we get out going up this cycle right again it's probably not going to be linear and just go straight up price wise you know i don't think we're just going to see it do that though you never know you know i think we will see some chop in here and some your typical market stuff but overall i believe we're going to be heading upwards you do need to keep in mind the June 21st, there is a bit of a cycle low there. You know, this one and this one and this one, though they're not synchronized, so it may not be that big of a pullback, but I do think wherever the price is at that time, will settle down a little bit, you know, into this date. All right, let's look at the trade of the day. But, well, we'll look at, we'll look at uh, more than one trade of the day because I'm something very interesting I'm gonna show you here. So the first thing we're gonna look at is a five minute chart. Now this chart, the five minute chart, the 15 minute chart, and the one hour chart all get streamed um, live to the members uh, five days a week, okay? 24 hours a day, because this is futures, remember that. Okay, so, you know, was there a really like strong trade in the five minute chart today? Um, there was, if you were, Paying attention uh, pre-market. Well, yeah, just basically pre-market was right here. That was at 8.40 Central Time. Look at that, my goodness, what a great signal. So the members get notified of this on the Discord server, but that's one trade of the day. So hang around, because I'm gonna show you, show you a couple more. But this was a very powerful signal that came in at 8.40 pre-market. Look at that, my goodness, wow. We're talking from about 4230-ish, maybe a little higher, all the way down to 42, what, 4212. You know, easily 15, 20 points worth of trading right there. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let me look at the 15-minute chart real quick here. For this one, for the members, if you were up late last night, this was right around 1.30 in the morning, I think. Yeah, 1.45 this morning, look at this. Huh. So if you were, you know, this doesn't always happen to overnight session, but if you were up trading, man, what an alert. 15 minute chart. Right, by the time you got over to this area, you could see things were going up. MACD got above the zero line. Let me just stretch that out a little bit. Just so we have some context here for that time frame, you know, by the time you got into this area here and this area here, you knew this thing was taken off, right? Look at this, look at this gap going on. 
Really nice trade last night, really late last night, or uh, just past midnight. Okay, these are called the 10-year yield futures. Now, these are a micro product, an e-micro product, really nice. I had said back here on uh, May 23rd, because this a, a uh, an alert came in on the on well this symbol came up in the premium symbols channel that, that's on the discord server i'll show you that in a second the, the members get this premium symbols every day but this came back here on, on may 23rd and i said hey to the members pay attention because i think yields are going to pull back i took a small position at this point just kept it small because i knew there were, there may be some more upside there was two or three more days and bam this thing came down really nice i think we're going to see it continue to come down all the way through june 11th here you can see right now I'm up $638. I got 10 uh, micro contracts going on. Really, really nice. I think it's going to continue to decline. There could be some chop. And, you know, when you get a big red day tomorrow, it might be like halfway up this candlestick and then another day. And then I think it'll decline again. You know, you do have to weather a little bit of bit of chop when we're dealing with these kind of things. But I think overall price is going to continue down through June 11th. Really, really nice. Again, premium symbols channel on the Discord server. All right, here we are over on the Discord server. This is where all the services take place for the members, okay? And this is the premium symbols channel I was talking about right here. That's where, you know, for those that want to know, do I use my own service to trade? Yes, I do, actually. I looked at the premium symbols. Here are the files that come in every day, okay? And I happen to be looking at the futures back there on May 23rd. I saw that the, the yield futures looked really, um, or I mean, I should say the, the yield futures showed up on this list. You know, this future CSV file, you just open up an Excel or open office, whatever you want. And I saw it on there and I took a look at it and said, wow, it looks really good. And, uh, you know, I took the trade back then. So that's where the, the members get the premium symbols every day, right? They get options, they get industries, they get futures, and they they also get um, shorts. If you want. Okay. So I take a look at these every day real quick to see if there's something something juicy on there. Also, you know, we looked at the five to 15 minute and the one hour chart. So those come here in the, in the, uh, in the S and P 500 alerts channel. Let me get a little bit better circle here. So the members get notified of that. There's also gold. If you want to trade some commodity, there's crude top 30 stocks, both in SP 500 and the NASDAQ for five, 15 minute, one hour as well. And then there's daily alerts to come in for some stocks as well and futures for that matter. So if you want to do swing trades, this would be the channel that you would, you'd be looking at. You know, members just come here, they cl right click, they hit notification, they click all messages and they get notified of the alerts, okay? If you like what you're seeing in this video, then you can click on the first link in the comments section below the YouTube video here. It'll be like the top, I'll have it pinned to the top. It's gonna to bring you to this Gittus server, okay? And then from there, you're gonna to go to server subscriptions. You click on that, you get this web page right here. $7.99 a month, guys and gals. That is an extremely good value. Okay, you get all the alerts and you get everything that's in this rectangle. Everything you see in here. Okay, of course, at the very bottom here, the, the videos, the YouTube videos, that's for everybody. Both the members and the general public get the YouTube videos. But everything else in here is for members only on the Discord server. Okay, I already talked about, you can pause this video at any time and just read this if you, you know, at your leisure. You get the streaming parts, streaming charts, sorry, five, 15 minute, one hour. You get the S&P 500 alerts like I talked about, okay? And this one actually needs to be daily because you also get daily alerts in here. Five, 15 minute, one hour daily. Talked about the top 30 stocks, the premium symbols. Remember, I got the yield futures out of there. You can see the position I got going on, really nice profitable position. Um, and just want to talk to the members here for a second. If you want to be, I know, thank, by the way, I uh, just want to say a big thank you to all the members and of course the new members. Welcome. Got a lot of new members have come in lately. That's great. Just want to remind the members, if you want the nightly emails, drop your email into the email only channel on the discord server. Okay. And then you'll get in, you'll get a nightly email where I, um, give my comment about the S and P 500. I include a chart and I mock up the chart about where I think things are going to go. Okay. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, if you want to become a member, just click on the first link of the comment in this video. Then go to the very top on the left like I showed in this video and click the membership and you can join. Okay. Talk to you all real soon. Good next time. Happy trading, everybody.